Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm here today uh, breaking into that uh, collection that I told you guys I bought for 45 bucks from um, a few older guys who had bought a giant card collection or going out of business card shop or something like that. Um, and I wanted to start off with this one because this is like an actual hardwood baseball trading card case. Uh, I think the box was just really cool. I have no idea if the cards are going to be cool at all. It's got a cool wooden or rope handle. Uh, and a sliding wood top. So this was marked as five bucks. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Uh, I did make a little bit of a, a deal on all these things, so I didn't pay the, the sticker price that they put on all these things. But um, let's see what we get in here. All right. Starting, we'll go from left to right here. So these are a little bent, which is not a great sign. But um, So these are basketball cards, obviously. I don't know. Cantavius. Caldwell Pope. I don't know him. Nicholas Batum. Don't know him. Nerlens Noel. Don't know him. Tyson Chandler. Don't know him. Wesley Matthews. Don't know him. Mason Plum. Don't know him. Chandler Parsons. Don't know him. CJ Miles. Don't know him. John Wall. So John Wall I do know. And actually, uh, he's a Reebok guy. You can see his shoes. Oh, was he wearing Reebok there? No. In any case, he was a Reebok guy. And I do have a signed pair of his shoes that... Uh, I gave him my son, he's got in his room. So John Wall, I know he's a good player. We'll put him aside. Uh, Jack Randolph, Bismack Mayumbo, and Dwight Howard. So I don't know if that was anything. I'll, maybe I'll give these to Polly Pax because he might know more about those basketball cards than I do. Uh, we've got an Earl Weaver 87 tops, a Dennis Cook 90 tops, Mike Stanley 91 tops, Brian Harvey, oh, scored Gold Rush. So at least it's a gold card. That's something. Um, what is this? Oh, it's Ichi Ichiro. It's uh, classic portraits. Well, that's, that's fun and interesting. It's an upper deck, it looks like. A little, a little too modern for my taste. All right, Derek Favors, Dante Cunningham. Uh, there's a, another Contavious Caldwell Pope. Man, I just must have a big blind spot for this era of NBA basketball because I don't know any of these guys. So this is 2016, 2016-2017, um, where those are from. So, and all right. So getting into these, uh, these are 1994 classic best gold. Um, oh, so this is going to be either miners or college. Yeah, it looks like miners. See if there's anything interesting that comes out of this. They're really hard to read their names. Trey McCoy, Rick Helling. Chris Cologne, Wally Ritchie, Chris Dentro, Dentro, Mark Barcello, Darren. I just have to say, baseball card companies, stop making cursive for the names on the front of your cards. No one likes it. No one. It, it's not good for anybody. There are so many examples of this, and this is a, a perfect example, I think, of this not going well. So. And I have to like shine the light properly because they're all gold stamped, gold foil stamped. Tom Wilson. Here's Dwight Howard. Okay. So, what a weird collection of cards. I mean, I don't know what these three have to do with anything else in this bin. So, it's just totally, totally random. Um,. Oh, Jason Giambi. So there you go. And that's for the Modesto A's. So that's a good card. Jason Giambi. In his minor league days, who went on to be a, a decent player. So it's a good one to put aside. And I really am like, you know, I'm discovering this just like you guys are. And um, that's what keeps these videos fun, I think, is that I have no idea what's in here. It's not like I've done a preview. It is just seeing what's in here. Because that's part of the fun of these is like collection buys is that you really it's like a hunt it's a treasure hunt and so if you guys get to share in that joy of what comes next who knows what can we find then i think that's awesome that's what i like to look to uh see when i watch these videos too dimitri young uh, why does that ring a bell i'll have to look that one up yeah so these are clearly 1994 Classic gold, and they are minor league cards. And uh, 
Manny Martinez, Tim Cooper. Sorry, I have to go so slow. It's just so hard to read these things. Derek Lee. James Milton, Kevin Lane, Hector Trinidad, Wolf, and Scott Shockey. All right. I'm not sure why this box exists like this either. Like, what would you, I mean, would you put them sideways in here? No, because then it wouldn't fit. So I'm not sure. What? <laughs> they're, just the, they're the wrong size. Like, who made this box? It doesn't even make sense. Like, if no baseball cards that I know of would fit in that box in any way other than the way they're in here, which is, like, just thrown around. I actually am pretty impressed that these, these classic cards are kind of glossy UV coated, and they're not sticking together, um, which is kind of a shocker, because as we all know, with age, these things tend to stick together really something fierce, especially if there's any kind of moisture. And I don't think this wood box was keeping the moisture out, that's for sure. There's another Dimitri Young. I'll have to see if that's anything worth talking about. Um, Randy Curtis. Yeah, I don't know any of these guys. John O'Brien. <laughs> Where's that guy? Is he a coach? Like, no helmet on him? All right, so now we're on to some other things. Yankee Classics. Steve Balboni. And Sparky Lyle. So these are must be throwback cards or something like that. All right, and then looks like Juan Augusto 87. Mike Flanagan. And this is Rob Henkel. And BJ Garby. All right, so more things I didn't know anything about. Some random... There's a Bo Jackson Don Russ card that's super messed up. This is uh, 2016 Panini Don Russ baseball, but just wrecked. That's too bad, because that'd be a cool card. All right, some more. Terrence, there's a Terrence Ross basketball card. There's a Joel Skinner, Topps Gold winner. Paul O'Neill, all right. So that's somebody. It's a little wavy. Um, all right, this is so there is a card in here that looked old, and that's what uh, is actually probably the most interesting to me. Book of Jacoby, Tom Mountain. It's just such random things. Miguel, Miguel Tejada. All right, that looks like is that messed up? No, that's the way it's supposed to be. These cards are thick too. So 2003 Miguel Tejada Fleer. All right, that's something. 2003 Barry Bonds. And it's him coming off of, you know, a year removed from a 73 home run season, record-breaking season. Roberto Alomar, Hall of Famer. 2003 Fleer. 2003 Fleer, Frank Thomas. So that's excellent. Um, and then some random 87 tops, followed by a Bob Serve, Yankees Classics. I'll have to give those uh, Yankees Classics to Pauly Pax because he's a Yankees fan. All right, so this is a 1979 tops, terribly cut, Ron LaFleur. <laughs> I mean, and I don't know. Oh, no, this is not tops. It's, it's OPG. OPG, which is the Canadian version. So that's why you'll see uh, French here as well as the English. Um, so that's interesting enough. Uh, I'll put that aside as an interesting thing. There's an Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer. And this one is in good, good shape. 1987 tops, Alan Trammell. I just can't wrap my mind around what the what the, what what is this box? Who who put the cards in here, and why? Why did they put these two cards together? That's part of the fun, I guess, is that we just don't have any idea what's going on here. Yeah, so these are all those minor league cards, and minor league cards, you know, are pretty. Very rarely are minor league cards even worth looking at, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, they're fun. Because you get to see some cool team uniforms and names that you don't normally see. Um, sometimes you can find an interesting player or star that went on to be 
like Derek Jeter. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on here. That is Derek Jeter. Okay. Um, I was just about to say that even the ones who end up being stars typically aren't worth very much. I'll have to look this up. The Greensboro Hornets, Derek Jeter, minor league card in this random wooden box. Um, okay. Oh, Tory Hunter. There's another one for you. So I don't know anything about this 94 classic gold set, but uh, I feel like I'm going to look it up. We've got a, a, some a Giambi, a Jeter, and a Tory Hunter. So Charles Peterson. That was a Derek Jeter. What a what a random thing. And and these guys who we bought these from, they were big Derek Jeter fans. I don't know if I wouldn't call them fans, I guess, but they clearly held Jeter in high regard. I'll put it that way, because they were ask they were saying, like, well, you know, we don't want to sell you something we haven't looked through, because what if there's a Derek Jeter rookie card in there? And I'm like, well, if, you, if there's a Derek Jeter rookie card in there, it's probably 10 bucks for like the 93 tops Derek Jeter rookie. But they seem to think it was more important than that. And yet, here it is. A uh, bin they hadn't looked through, and there's Derek Cheater. <laughs> so, there's that, essentially. these cards. Are, so, these cards are sticking together a little bit. Mike Kelly. Iris Smith. Derek Lee. Kevin Lane. I don't know any of these guys. If I'm if I'm missing somebody here that I should be looking at, please tell me in the comments and say, Ben, you missed somebody important. Brooks, somebody. Joel Wolf. Yeah, these are starting to stick a little bit here. Scott Shockey. Izzy Molina. There's another Jason Giambi for you. So we'll put that one aside with the other one. Joe Rotello. Michael Tucker. Scott Rowan. There you go. The Phillies great. Scott Rowland. Awesome. I like that one. You know, he was uh, he was around when I was in the Philadelphia area and a pretty big Phillies fan. So, so that was a nice one to come across. Daryl May. Jimmy Arnold. I really dislike the design of this set. It's just so hard to read. It's like they never did any t wear testing of these of saying like, if someone opens this pack, here's experience they'll have. It's like, we can put gold foil on it, so let's just do that. Sorry about that bump. Preston Wilson. Charles Johnson, who I think we're all familiar with, being on the base of the USA team and wanting to play for the Marlins, I believe. So that's something. Ruben Santana, Ali Diaz, Roberto something something, Jeff Schmidt, Ernie Young, Mark Aker, John and Chris Malinowski. All right, so one more. Ken Oberkfell, Rich Rundles, I believe. Yeah, this is more minor league stuff. This is upper deck minor league. All right. All right, one more uh, bin to go through here. Starting off with a Frank Thomas front row. This one is mucked up, which is it's a, it's a shame because it's an exclusive promo front row collector's club but it's mucked up because i imagine because it was in this box and somebody slid the lid right over it so you can see it's kind of ripped down here that's a shame 
All right, so on to the post-1992 Post Collector's Series. So this was post-Serial. I remember having these cards and actually pulling them out of the Serial box. Will Clark and Cecil Fielder and Joe, Joe Carter. Uh, Joey Butler. Paul Molitor. That's a good one. Scott Erickson. If you notice, there's Wade Boggs. They had to scrub all the... Because uh, they're Major League Baseball partners, but they couldn't put the teams on there. There's Bobby Bonilla, Terry Pendleton... Barry Larkin, Frank Thompson. Woo! That's just a good looking shot of him. And that's your office rookie, Jose Canseco. All right, so on to these Yankees classics. I'll probably give these over to Polly Pax, Sam Dowell, Rudy May, Roy White, Ron Guidry, Ron Blomberg, Rick Cerrone, Doc Medich, Phil Rizzuto. All right, there's a famous one. Phil Negro, Hall of Famer. This is Mike Napoli. I don't know him. And this is somebody. Doug Million. Million. Only one of 24,900. Classic picks. So that's some kind of insert. Uh, it's worth looking at, I guess. But it would be better if it was somebody that anyone recognized. All right. Gaylord Perry. Famous for putting uh, junk all over the baseball. Horace Clark. Oh, some more. So these are Star Minor League cards here. Bruce Schreiber. This is uh, Score Select 1993. But the 93 Score Select was, was green, so I'm not sure what these blue ones are all about. That's interesting. Eric Young, Frank Tanana, Juan Samuel, Phil Plantier. They're kind of mucked up, too. You can see. Must, must stuck, stuck together or something. Richard Lewis. Nobody of any interest or consequence, I guess. Tom Brunansky. Yeah, these are pretty wrecked up. But I guess when they come out of a weird old wood box, you know, I don't know what do you expect. Um, this is why they were messed up, probably, because they're, they're all stuck together like this at some point, I think. Will Cordero. All right, so this is from the Eight Men Out movie uh, featuring John Cusack and others. Good baseball movie to get the chance. Look, there's a Frank Thomas upper deck future heroes insert. Uh, surface is a little marred, but it's something. Mark McGuire, future heroes. It's funny you would call him a future hero by the time you even get to 90. What year is this? 93. I guess it's a future hero, but at that point he kind of was a hero. There's Juan Gonzalez, future hero, upper deck, 93 upper deck. And then we're back to the uh, classic gold minor league cards. Todd Stevenson, Randy Phillips, Butler, Pedro Valdez. All right, looks like we got one more handful here. Let's see what else we get out of this strange wooden box of treasures. Christian Yelich. I don't know who that is, but if he's good, tell me. It's a really thick card, that's for sure. Um, Melvin Upton. J.J. Hardy. Yeah, I don't know any of these guys. But again, there's a, I have a blind spot for baseball in the late 90s, early 2000s. So, Kevin Pillar. I know that he played for the Red Sox. This is 2016, so I don't know if he's any good. But when he was on the Red, he was on the Red Sox for a brief period. Evan Longoria. There's Phil Necro. He's a Hall of Famer. Adam Eaton, Brandon Crawford, Julio Teron, Matt Reynolds, Yasmani Tomas, Andrew Kashner. Yes, I don't know any of those. Those guys. We've got a few more of these postcards. We've got Dave Justice, Ozzie Smith, Daryl Strawberry, George Brett. There's Lou Pinella, Louis Tiant, Mel Stottlemyre, Mickey Rivers, Oscar Gamble, Paul O'Neill, and Brian, somebody, and Lance Nielsen. So, what an interesting, strange pack of cards we got some, some of those basketball ones in there we've got some of these yankees classics we've got some post we got some 
more modern stuff. We've got some weird old stuff. We've got some inserts. We've got a lot of those minor league cards, including this Derek Jeter, which was a big surprise. Uh, that's probably the, the find of the, of, the, of the pick, if you ask me. Um, yeah, so there you go. I mean, that right there was worth some, some dollars just in the entertainment value, and now I've got this cool, weird old box that nothing quite fits right into that I can use for something. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.